Fatherlessness was a wound. My absent father was a wound that I thought I could make a PhD out of. Thought I could find the validation that I so desperately wanted from my dad, but from academia and from the arts. But I realized after five years after graduating that I needed to stop writing, speaking, making from the void. And I guess I got curious about what it would look like if I, if I could write from a place of connection. What might it look like if the stories that I told came from curiosity and not from a place of hurt? What would it look like if I stopped chasing clicks and started facing the fracture? What would it look like if I accept my father for the dad that he is and stop wanting him to be someone else? It wasn't the suffering that was hard. That was hard. But it was forgiveness that was the most heavy. I always thought it would be my own anger that would chain me down into the ocean, leave me to sink there for an eternity. But it was the weight of forgiveness. In my therapist's office, in my therapist's office, I hear him say that the true making of a man doesn't truly begin until he is able to see his own father for the son that his own father could never see him for. And I lost it. Because it's then that I realized that not only am I supposed to look after my inner child, but maybe acknowledge that he has an inner child too, and that maybe we are both enough. That the little awkward kid who could never fill out his big island frame, and that the staunch, smart-mouthed kid from Ha'apai who had to father his own brothers so that by the time he had his own kids, all he wanted to do was hawa are enough. To be honest with you, uni was really good. Um, it made me really mad, mad busy always thinking about intergenerational trauma, but, but never understanding that intergenerational blessings is a thing. And I can't tell you wholeheartedly that I still believe that intergenerational healing is possible for me, but I guess the conclusion that I'm starting to draw right now is that the intergenerational pattern of distant and cold and absent father figure stops here. And how was that fair? That I have to understand that it is not my job to reparent myself and father my dad, but it is my job to love myself. And by extension, and only when I am able to and have the capacity to love my dad, forgive my dad, forgive myself, But this is my life. And because you are my old man and because truthfully I am tired of making an enemy out of you and because truthfully I can't see my life without you. I've come to understand that some things are better off in poems that the hardest poem I will never be able to finish writing and also the most important poem I will never be able to finish writing is our relationship and how we navigate that. That will be the heliaki that I continue to try to get out of my bones for eternity.
And that is the sacrifice. How messed up is it? When it is not your heaviness that scares you, but the idea of freedom. How tired must you become when you have nowhere else to run and know that it is only the work that you have left to do? Because this is love. Because this is the weight of forgiveness and the understanding of how we exist. This is what it means to surrender and leave that stuff there so that we have a chance of healing, so that I can hear you better, so that I can hear myself. 